uh-huh. I did go back and do it again. Yeah, see, it's done. And I can't move my mouse because it's loading. So here we go. Yep, it works this time. As you can plainly see. Oh, wait. Hang on. Sorry. Music. Victory music. Dun dun. Dun dun da da ba. Pirate. Space pirates. Oh! More like, more like space cowboys. Whoa! Okay, right. Wait a minute. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up and initialize. Hurry! Okay, now we just gotta turn the volume up because look at it. Whoa! Music. Sound. Ugh. Ugh. Because I turned it down yesterday for some reason, I forgot. Alright. Okay, good. We're back. We're back in business. Back in action. What's going on here? He's having a look out the window. Oh! Oi, I'm trying to look out the window. Go away. Pardon me for extruding myself in your what? cabin. It's okay, Nabon. What can I do for you? I still do not understand why the hero of the Strider Wars is serving on this ship. Oh! You got a minute? I'll tell you. No. Ida was a child no. prodigy. A strategic genius. Do we need to know? She was an international 3D chess master Whoa. by the age of 10. Why? And drafted by the Terran military before she was out of braces. Uh -huh. About 10 years ago, at the height of the Strider Wars, things were going badly for us. Oh. We were outnumbered and outgunned. It seemed only a matter of time before we'd be wiped out. Ida turned it all around. Skill! On an out-of-the-way planet called Tycho, she created a sort of electronic Potemkin village. Well, that is Potemkin. A massive underground complex of transmitters and antennas. She made it seem as if the Terran military had concentrated their headquarters and most of their forces there. The Striders went for it. They landed in full force, right above the transmitters. What an idiot. Our ships had been hiding behind Tycho's moon. They came out and nuked the planet into oblivion. Awesome. It was a brilliant victory. Was. Yeah, but it had a prize. The planet. Tycho had hundreds of Terran colonists. Innocents uh, oh. who couldn't be warned of Ida's plan. When she activated the transmitters, she signed their death warrant. What oh, bitch? But because they died, millions lived. She knows that. She made the choice. But she's never forgiven herself. What an idiot. As she grew older, she rebelled. Rebel. She thinks the military made her a monster. Why? And now she doesn't trust them or anyone else. Except me. You Bad. should tell her to trust you. It doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, stupid alien. Okay, go away. Get out of my quarters now. Get out of my, get out of my room. Many pardons, but could we talk later? This is my room. We'll talk now. Get in bed. No, don't! <laughs> <laughs> We're not even gonna bother looking for that. Get out of here, stupid animal! That. Yeah, we're not even gonna bother looking for the sea goat, but, um. Well, it seems it found us. So, hi. You got any weapons for me? Hi. I scrounged some concussion grenades for you. And I finally figured out what to do with that erected biomass you found back on hell. Turned hell. out to be a hell of a weapon. You gotta check it out. It's crap, actually. Take your pick. Let me check out the spider gun. You made a gun that shoots spiders? Oh, I had me some fun with this one. Turns out the arachnids you ran into on hell have a really durable biomass. Awesome. I loaded some into this ejaculator tube. Ejaculator! Primary fire spits out a sack that'll spawn a bunch of little arachnids on your target. Hmm. With alt fire, the sack will grow until it sack. splits and a big sucker pops out and goes sucker. on the attack. Anything else? Okay, um... See you later. Since you use the words ejaculation, sack, and sucker in the same sentence, I'm not talking to you anymore. Disgusting. Ejaculation tube. How did you... Oh. Hi, boobs. Ready for the briefing? I am, boobs. Let's do it. 
Yeah, let's Both do it. Both the and Leandri have learned the location oh, of our secret research lab on Janus. Let's do it. The ghost warriors are already on the ground and the angels aren't far behind. Oh, not them. Our top expert on the artifacts works at the lab. Oh, no. His name is Dr. Meyer. He's got two artifacts down there and he's in charge of the entire facility. Oh, no. Polaris is a huge base set on top of a cliff. It houses oh. hundreds of scientists and vast quantities of equipment. It's one of the largest human-built installations in the sector. Oh. Most of the scientists have already gotten out, but Meyer is still in there. What an idiot. The terrain surrounding the facility is pretty bleak. Death. Janus is a cold planet 6,000 miles in diameter. Why? Orbiting the weak K-type star Asgard. The only surviving species are hardy plants and animals that have adapted to the frozen landscape. Awesome, huh? It's like hell. Your mission is to recover both artifacts and make sure the mercs don't capture oh. Dr. Meyer. There's two? There's two? That just decreases the game by one level, doesn't it? Especially one artifact on each level. The landing pad is here. Where? The main entrance isn't far away, but you have to go over a bridge to get there. What's the point? Why don't you just land me on the bridge? Or the Izanagi are already holding the bridge, so it's right sure there. to be heavily fortified. Watch out, especially for snipers and turrets. Why don't you land me there? Good luck, John. So I can just slide down the mountain and then go in. What an idiot! No. No, she's not. She's sexy. Yeah. Start Janus mission. We will. I will. I will. I'm playing this. Go away. No spotlight theft. Look where we are. Oh look, I've been seen already. You know what this means. Wasn't that a buttload of skill? Yeah, buttload. It was. How was that? Just too skill! Oh look, there's a ladder going up there. Shall I have a look? I think I will. He's gonna sink. Whoa, look! Don't stand around on this planet because you sink. Actually, you sink in every planet. Kinda weird, isn't it? I guess computers back then couldn't handle all the bodies. It's very noisy here. Ah! What a long ladder. Not as long as the one in Metal Gear Solid 3, though. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Uh, mine. Ah, he had some nice stuff. Why was he using a rocket launcher if he had a sniper rifle right here? Oh, idiot. Because I kind of heard the rocket coming. He could have just sniped me to death. What a lovely day. Doesn't look very cold here. Stop it, just go. Anyway, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying on the way up there, before I talked about the sniper rifle. Shush! And a... Oh, there we are. Oi! Fuck's sake, stupid crosshair does nothing. Hey look, there's a wiggly thing in there. Contact. How much does it take? Whoa! Watch it, buddy. That does it, I'm using the spider gun on you, if I can see you. Oh, it's crap. So is that. Oi! Spiders! Oh bloody hell! Ha ha! Ha ha! 
death by spiders. Ah, ah. How humiliating. He got killed by spiders. Ha 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 ha. He's gonna sink. Oh, he sunk into the bridge. Even the bridge is alive and eats people. What the hell is going on over there? I don't know if you can see that glitchy textureness. I can. Good job it's gone now though, huh? Go away! 